Hi everyone, welcome back. This is not Minecraft Mod Survival, this is a wee demo um, and a tutorial of one of the worlds that I often talk about in the series. And this is um, a server that uh, me and my brother we worked on and uh, I think we've spent a, probably about a combined 200-300 hours on it. But yeah, it's quite um, big. We've done quite a lot of work on it. And you can see like a lot of the land there was excavated because we were building an airport and we got a runway here. And we were using the uh, the Flans uh, mod to build uh, the to build the um the runway and all. And then we can you know like land and take off from it. Um so I'm just looking back on it and it's just it's nostalgic to see just how much we got onto it. We've got a quarry there, we were excavating it out, we were making it longer, um We've done quite a lot of stuff to it, so um, let me just show inside. This this was the the factory as we called it. So we'll go in and have a look, and we have another uh, quarry out there. Oh, and I'll, and oh yeah, this is sweet bugger. Come on. So yeah, I've got quite a lot to show, and um, let me see if you can see it from here. Yeah, you can see you know the big massive glass room down below. I wonder if anybody can take a guess what that there is. Yeah, there's quite a lot of them. Now we we're making loads of arrows. We were. Um, we didn't actually get too far into this. Like, you would look at this and expect us you know, to have done like fairly, fairly well. You no, know, as in you no know, go to the end and all that. But we didn't. We we didn't really. Um, I can't remember what this done. Uh. <laughs> Just looking at the you know, chicken, and then uh, this was the old Max Horton um things we had, you no know, like our resources, rubies and stuff. You no know, one in here. Um, God, we've got quite a lot. Forty-one blocks of diamonds, more. The amount of stuff that we got is just not wise. Take a load of stuff, and then this is our enchantment table, deconstruction blocks, and then we had, of course, record player and brewery stand. Um, our beds. And this here that never got fixed, this was like a, a column we were going to build in. So the pipe was going to go in between the column and we would hide that but we never got that finished. As well as this. There's our runway. Uh, this is our dock so we used to take boats because um, we noticed that, let me see if we can go to the map. We noticed that quite a lot of the surrounding area it hasn't loaded in because I, I just copied this into the Minecraft folder. I haven't copied over all the, the loading and stuff so I'd have to make it. And um, We were going to make a massive map. So this is what we had so far. So we're currently, um, let me see, I think that's it there. I mean we're going to make a huge map. We never got around doing it. Also the, the room was made of half slabs to stop uh, monsters spawning on it. Which was very good. It was very effective at doing that. So let's uh, let's go up to the level. So we're currently at level two. So we'll go up to level three. So this was our generator room. So this is where everything was uh, powered by coal, and this was the laser. So this is where you make uh, your cable, and your cable runs along here and it goes into these different things. So this is see the red one there. So what these engines are doing now is that they are powering up above and they go up into the next floor and I'll show that now in a second. But what it was was like a kickstart. So in order to start the combustion side of things this was like the kickstarter but it was also used to um, power the quarry as well if we run out of fuel which it currently is at the minute. That's what it's doing at the moment. And this setup had I think it was 10 how many um, was it? Engines is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight, eight, um, eight. Uh, what do you call engines? And then there's one, two, three. So there's one, two, three, four, five eights of forty. So there's forty uh, sterling engines that were powering this whole thing. So we've got the line for turning on combustion engines, and then we've got this light, illuminated light that comes on. Uh, sterling engines can be turned on and off if needed. Uh, and then we had loads of charcoal and I'll show that now. See all the charcoal that's coming up and it's going down into the engines. So the way this works is uh, there's a compiler down. Let me see if I can go down at the bottom. The way it works is that each chest fills up with one. Um, well it fills up and then what happens is it drops. It Whenever this here fills it drops down below and then it fills up the engine. 
and let me see the engines. Yeah, it's filling the map there, and it does that. So it that's how you can automatically distribute between the items, uh, between uh, engines. Is that it uh, used these uh, hopper method? So this is what this room was used for here. It was just as a, like a sort of a Kickstarter room, and then this this is where things get interesting. Um, I don't know why we never put any lights up in here. It didn't really make any sense. Um, oh yeah, because it was in the scene, but still we should have put some lights up in it. And now this is the mother of all combustion uh, refineries. Now this was uh, this was five. The one that we're building at the moment was only three. Now this is five, and look at that there. But it was very very compact, and it's very complicated on how it worked. So you got your oil coming in, got pumped under here, come up through this here, and went into this got uh, separated out into different things and then it came back on itself and went this way we had a thing for destroying items so uh, the way it worked was instead of using lava it uses itself to sort of cool and heat things up and then we did have extra lava here which was used just in case we needed to you know if in case we needed lava and then here's our engines here quite a lot of engines uh, where our different fuels come into and power oven and then we had three water lines coming in that went into tanks. Each uh, each engine had its own, yeah. Each engine had its own water tank, and that was having going into it. Quite a lot of fuel. It is very very complicated, and it took ages to build. But it was brilliant when it was working. It really was. It it just went through it, and it was so satisfying to watch having them work. And um, oh yeah, this is we were taking our um. What do you call it? Waste material, and we're putting it up into this, so we got loads of that. So we're cooling that, and then we had more steam and uh, things for cooling down fuel before it goes into the engines. So yeah, very very effective. So there you can see quite a lot. The amount that it's producing is quite a lot that it's always running, and then it's just crisscross of crisscross of different um, things going into it. Yeah, it was brilliant though. Um, oh yes, yeah, so sometimes we had no spillages, we had like a, a bay over here to put any spillages into it. So that's this here floor, let's go up to the top floor. Uh, oh, this is four, let's go up to five. And this is where our helipad was, and this is again where Flan's um, mod was uh, used. So we used to take helicopters and land it up here. And here's a bird's eye view of everything there. So there's the runway we had, and the runway did work, we, like we had Flan's. Uh, airplane in it and it was massive. We took all that material that you see to build the runway from the uh, volcano not that far away from here and we had a turn, a section for turning around. Um, oh yeah those massive holes you see there, the, the quarry, there was a quarry used to run the whole way out there and the two quarries went out and the plan was to come back, keep coming back until you now we had taken it to bedrock lab which I think it actually does there, you can see bedrock there so I think yeah, that's it there, we kept moving it forward. So the quarry started here and then moved all the way out. And some of them went over there and some went here. And yeah, the runway was took ages, I think. I built most of that myself. But yeah, it was pretty cool. And planes did land it and we had the lights in between, the runway. Yeah, it was brilliant. And we had arrows as well. And then this is where we were converting this into an airport. That's why we we're excavating this all out. Um, so we were going to build a massive, two massive hangars for our planes and then we were going to artificially fill over there where you see that big pond, we were going to fill that and then we were going to take that lump there but leave this part of the mountain, we were going to take that over and execute that out. And then there was a massive mountain, we can't see it here, let me just turn up the, um, what do you call it, uh, render distance to 32, see if I can show this, so now it loads up. Yeah, so you see that massive mountain there, we were going to excavate the top of that down so that planes could come in and land without no clipping that. But uh, just for, just for, what do you call it, for the sake of getting things to run, uh, planes had to come in this direction and land. And you can see we never got all the lights finished on the runway, but that was pretty much it. Uh, we had lots of uh, oil, lots and lots of oil. So we had some there, we had some out there. But a good thing was whenever we started off, there was um right there where you see that um right there where you see that uh, hole is where we had one, and then there was a second one who was here where you can see that other pile. So there was two right beside us. I remember that, 
and that was that. So I'm just going to change the. Uh, um, it's no longer. Well, uh, I'm not going to say it's no longer used. It's um, it's kind of been made redundant uh, because it's broken. It's not working properly. Like yes, you could still play off it. It could. But it's broken and um, what I mean by that is uh, there is see the way it's very laggy let me just check with frames getting a constant 25 26 frames and that is because there's entities that have loaded in the game that are no longer there now that might sound a wee bit weird but what I'm saying is there's a uh, lots of flans related items and blocks that are out in the world in random places but haven't no um Deloaded or what do you call that? No, whenever it's not loading anymore. Um, no, they're just, they're just, uh, no, still in the game. But we had massive waterway here, and I don't think we had Archimedes ship either. No, I don't think we did have that. So, um, we I don't think we plan on putting that in. And then, oh yeah, we had more oil there where you see that long line. That's where that long line goes out there to oil and middle. There was lots of oil everywhere, so there was. We were never running low on it. We always had some. But the thing the fact that we had two so close to us, no I had that one and we had that one there, the remnants of that. It was so good because we just you know we had enough to pretty much run as many choirs as we wanted. That's why we have so many diamonds. So I'll take the lift down to the bottom level. Let's just see what's in here. Oh yeah, this is the fuel. That's the part of the the plans there, so, so if I go to Oh, no, I can't. I was going to say a shift or alt. It shows the information, but that's the fuel can use for plants mod. So we'll take the uh, lift back down to floor level. So this is it here. And oh, this one, this is for crafting. Yeah, that's a uh, part of plants for crafting vehicles. So that's where we craft our uh, our um, airplanes and stuff. And then this is our pipes. Those are our building blocks, which I think is full to the brim. Yeah, obsidian. So now we'll take uh, the lift down to bottom level, which is level one. And this is a nice lift shaft here. And there's pipes running along here, so there's in behind that. There's a, that's false for good. There's pipes running there, you can see them there. So there's another running behind the, the lift, and then they go up. So this is where we're getting all our lava. Our lava is coming up in through here. And, uh, yeah, this is. This is a uh, the system here we use for cooking all the charcoal. So this is the tree farm, similar to what we have in the well, which, which we hope to have in the next one. And there was two of them. There was two of these here running. So there was. Um, I just want to check that there's no monsters about. There is. There's two there. Um, it's notorious for it. It's kind of a bad decision putting it down here, but um, I'm just gonna change it into uh, to what do you call it? Uh, Adventure mode, game mode. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna change the game mode again to uh, um, creative. There we go. So that we can see Evan, just better. So we had two of these here. Uh, these these cars were running around. So we had you know, the cotton thing and the planter. So that was a range extender, so we were able to plant out um, quite a huge distance. Uh, not all the rail was used, the, it was only used you know, for the starters. Uh, this is an entire raised platform that was raised above bedrock. And I'll explain how this whole system here works now in a minute. And um, if you just peek in behind there, there was another quarry. You can just see the remnants of a quarry in behind there. Now the game is getting very laggy, we're currently on... Um, Still on about 20 frames or so, it depends on how things run. So the way it's very laggy now at the moment. So this is the type of tree we'll be going in, in the uh, in our survival series. And it's doing a pretty good job at um they, they all go to about that height there, so it's very good. But again, there was two of those oh there was two of those um what do you call it? Um tree cutters around no they just went around and um and uh they just went around and collected all the items but it was split in two so what you had was this half was done by that there and then this half was done by the other one so it meant that you were getting more no wood so what happens is the wood gets um the wood comes into this and it feeds into here 
and then what we have is that the charcoal goes into the engine so we can see here that um, charcoal goes into the engine of each and then we deposit the wood into there then what happens is uh, the there's a sorting thing underneath there there's a sorting thing underneath here where it, you know, it pumps items out and um, you can't see it because it's buried under here I think it's just under here or something you probably see it um, I don't want to break anything because it's no this is a copy but I don't really want to break anything so the items would get deposited out of here and they run along under here here's here so there's the there's the pipe there so they get deposited and come up through here then they go into this and then they feed into this room in here there's it there so they go in here and then there's a filter here which uh, checks is it charcoal or is it birchwood and if it is and um, so birchwood gets sent to red so it goes over here and then deposits into these chests and these chests chests feed into these here um furnaces so they get cooked and then what happens is the um i'll just watch it here so see the way the uh we'll wait for yeah they're going to go along here so there they go this way and they get sent these ones get sent straight up and the yeah, there's in there they're disappearing down there and that's in there going under there and then they'll continue going up to that generator room I was talking about that's where all that's going so say for example uh, this here runs out of um, if this here runs out of uh, charcoal it, it sends a signal to tell it so I'll just do it there now to demonstrate it so it does it sends a signal to tell it to start filling up so I'll wait um, there's there so see the way it's set, the, it goes red so I'm sending a signal to tell it to send charcoal down this way here so we see is charcoal coming this way and that there is activated so there's it's so it's diverting items up this way here instead so that's sending charcoal down to here and let's we'll see if we can follow it and so that's going in there And what was this told to do if the capacity is 25% yet? So let me just um, throw in that there. I just want to take it out enough that we can trigger it and watch it. Alright, there we go. So I'll just take this here out. And we'll hope that goes re um, from red and turns it off and we'll see it diverting it. So... There's that, yeah, so the way they're diverted, so it's full enough that it, it tells the charcoal that this here chest is full. You can now send items on over to the generator room. So whenever that runs out, so that just means it's all topped up. Now, there's more than necessary in that, but like we have that much charcoal, we can play around with it. No, we're not no too bothered about it. So that's that. That's how all that there works. It's very, very complicated, but we'll have something similar like that, but you know, a bit, um, what's the word, a bit more friendly. So you can see how the tree cutter works there, it just cuts down the tree and plants it, a new one and then works on, and then they grow back, and we have loads of wood. Now this is a 64 by 64, but the, the amount of uh, plants in between, I think is only about, um, I think was it, there's two, three, uh, let's count them, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 by 29 um, tree farm, so it is. And, oh, I should remember, yeah, I should should note as well that it's not actually 29 by 29, it's only 29 by maybe 25, 20 or so, because um, there's a gap, there's a tree gap between them. Because they don't like to grow too close together. Now, if you put one here, they don't like to grow, grow that close, so you have to put a bit of a gap between them. Um, so that's that. Uh, this is where we're getting the lava. Although I think it's pumped dry. Yeah, it looks like it was pumped dry. But there was more lava down here. So this whole room went down to the bottom. Let's see if I have. Uh, where is my inventory? So I want to show. Yeah, here it is. I'll put this in here. And we enchanted, you no, know, like our, our uh, armor as well. So, yeah, it's still, there is some lava in here, but this whole room was full of um, lava. 
the entire lot. It was off to about here, and we were pumping it from. Uh, where was that pump going to? Yeah, there's there. So, let's um. Yeah, so pump the rest of that, and I'll show it. So the lava comes up through there. It comes into that. This was all full. This, you want to see this here? And where was that? Oh yeah, that was just there, so I could see it. And this all came up. I can't get out now. <laughs> and it all f flowed up here, along there, and then this went up to the uh, combustion room. So let's um, take that away because we don't need that anymore. And uh, we did have some tunnels. I can't remember where all the tunnels went. Um, there's an Enderman. We we did have some very very long tunnels. And uh, oh yes, this was the old way. That's right. I forgot about this. This was the old uh, our old um, base was up here. That's right. Because this was our first tunnel in system. Our first tunnel was here, and we had no strip mined. Uh, quite a large section, but uh, a lot of it's been blocked off. You know, the 5x5 five five tunnels have been blocked off. Uh, but there's loads of them, tons of them, so there is. Uh, we had so many. Uh, and then this, we were saving this here, the lava for it. And then, oh yeah, we had the camera as well. That's part of the security craft mod. So you can patch into that camera and you can watch stuff. So we were able to. Uh, the reason we had it there was we had an indicator light which was on top of a storage box of the. Instead of running up and down to check the status on the um, the uh, the miner, what it done was the chest illuminated a light when it was full, and then we just checked the camera to see if it was full, and that was it. Uh, but the camera did sort of create a bit of lag, and we noticed that whenever both of us were on and one of us connected, there'd be a bit of lag because I think the way it works is that it um, it puts like a, a fake player in or something. It's it's weird anyway the way it works. So let me see. Come all the way up here. And oh yeah, that's it there. But our house, our house was just somewhere away up here. So it was our house was just up here. But this was all excavated out. So let's turn the um day and set the weather to clear. There we go. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, uh, we had planned on doing a lot more to it. We like as I say, we were going to excavate. We were going to excavate all this here out and sort of flatten that there out so sort of down to here and take all this here out. And then we were going to fill up the rest of that with stone. Now I'm not sure why we did it in this here stone and not in slabs because I remember the hassle when we ran out we had to cook a lot of stone. And I don't know why we didn't use slabs. It doesn't make sense why we didn't use slabs. But I'm sure we had a reason for it anyway. And um. Yeah, we had stuff going back here to be cooked. Um, I think I can't remember if we had a mega furnace used to cook all that stone, but I'm, I'm sure it's it's around anyway. And then there's our horses. I think yeah, there's raisins there, and then that's was uh, my brother's horse. Uh, raisins was always coming out for some reason. Like when you put it inside, it used to always come out, which was a bit weird. Um, so that's the oil. The other thing we were going to do as well is, um, we were going to, once we flattened that out, the plan was to flatten this bit section out here, and then we were going to build a bridge straight across over to there, and then we were going to go straight over to here. We were going to build two massive bridges, but we never done that. It's, we, we kind of stopped things from there. Brother was the first one to stop playing, and I continued on for about 40, 50 hours. I done most of that that's where the most of the runway came in. And then I Yeah, all the all the stuff for the runway came from this here, so that's where there was a quarry on top of this, that's why it looks very weird. And um, I had the water on top so that it didn't um the water on top so that if there was lava it wouldn't run over it. So that's where we got uh, most of the runway, that's why it looks flat. Um, this went way up to there. It was a massive uh, volcano. And that was all. You can see there, there's the remnants of the, the quarry was in here. I was digging that all out. And that's where we got all that resources. And there's a random block there. <laughs> um, Swampland as well. Uh, we didn't, I don't think we used any bricks. As far as I know. I don't think so. 
But it is it is nice to come back to it, it really is. You know, it's um it's uh it's different. Uh what type of block is this? Why did we? Oh, one of us probably built that as a joke. I don't know. Seems a bit weird. Um, but yeah, we had a lot of oil and we had a lot of plans as well. And then there's another oil well here. Because once we dr uh, dried the other two, we came out to here and we dug this. Uh, I remember that was a complete siege to do. I remember that. Oh yeah, it's still there's still oil coming out of that one. This was a siege to build. So I'll just I'll, I'll show you what one of these. There's one of the bulbs here, so we can see that it's gone down like halfway or so. But this is you no know, like a big one. This whole room is completely full filled with oil the whole way up, including up here as well. So that's what one of these here is. And I think what we were going to do is we were going to convert it into a glass house, but never did. We had lots of plans, but we never got around to doing it. But um, I don't think we had any plans on going to the end. I think the whole thing was just to build stuff on the overworld and yeah, maybe go to the nether and that. But I never really did do anything else. Um, but yeah, it is very nice to come back and see all this. And yeah, that's our glass. I don't. I can't go down. But yeah, that's the glass. That took ages to build because I and I had used loads and loads of uh, underwater breathing potions, and I think I used night vision as well, so I could see. And it's sixty-four by sixty-four uh, glass, so I had to take sixty-four um, stacks of glass to build that. But it was worth it. It's pretty cool to see. You know, like a uh, above was all made of glass, and then this is here's our runway. That was. Never finished. And then this is the yellow for the lights, and we never, yeah, we never um, finished that. That took ages to build as well. I remember because there were so many mistakes. You see, to get that curve, no, you have to. Um, we used a planner to do this, and then we we went from the planner and done it. But what happened was. Uh, we had like a few times we had missed you no know, like we come out too far with this and then oh, I just remember this was a siege to build but it was a turn in circle so if we landed you no know, if you landed coming down here you kept red oh excuse me I'm tired but yeah if you landed you no know, coming down this way you come round and turned or if you wanted to take off you came down went around here and parked here and then uh, drove up on the runway and took off. And then that was our runway. It was a short runway, but um, we were planning on making it bigger. I think it was supposed to be twice as long as that. And then we were supposed to go... We were supposed to bring it more that way there, but we never did. And... I wonder if I can get any planes into it. No, actually, I better not, because I don't want to break any of the other saves. Uh, and we had to mine this here. I remember that came out right out to here. And that was mined out. So that the wings of the planes didn't scrape it. But that was pretty much it. Uh, we never done anything else. We never really expanded out beyond this. I think I may have... Yeah, I think I may have went out way out there and no one on horseback just to see what there was. But there never really was anything. Oh yes, and there was supposed to be like a, a CN tower up here. Not like a, an observation tower. And a lift going up to it, up to here, but we never got that done either. And I think the lift has a, I think the lift has a, what do you call it, a height limit. I, I can't remember, I need to check, see if it does, but you can change it in the config file. And there's more, um, fuel. And then there's our jungle, out here. So yeah, this is an observation thing we were going to put up here. But you can get, there's a huge view there, you can see. But that's pretty much it, that was what we had. It was a very, very good map. We had lots of fun on it. And oh yeah, this was artificially built as well. Most of that I think was artificially built. Um as an island. I kinda wanna run the seed 
Yeah, I kind of want to run the seed. Let me see. So how do I how do I copy that? Let's yeah, let's copy that uh, down and what do you call it? Run that, and we'll just show what it, what it looked like before we done it, and then what it looked like afterwards. I'll just get my uh, piece of paper here and a pen. I'm just going to write down that uh, coordinate. So was that minus three four one? No, um, not coordinate. Minus three four one two eight one uh, seven five eight nine seven five eight nine seven seven four seven. Uh, 9268 right so what we'll do is we'll exit here and what we will do is oh I think it's um okay so here we are we're back here again so let's um let's create a world so we'll create a new world and we'll call this um test 2 and we'll do it in um, creative mode so we can see it uh, so we're going to do the seed, so it's minus 341, uh, 2817, what is it, 281, 7589, 7747, 926 here. And we'll just leave everything now, allowed it's on, yeah, done, create new world. And hopefully this this is what um we have. This is the right number if I put it in right. Looks like it. I do think this is it, yeah. Cause we were at yeah, we were at an island. Yeah. Right, two oil. Yeah, this is it. This is mental. This really is mental. Holy smokes. Has this changed a lot? Holy smokes, really. I'd love to get a comparison video up here if I can. Yeah, this is it. This is the world. Wow, this, um, this is <laughs> wow, it's, it's actually unreal to see this. It really is. So there's the two oil there where we had very, very close, which is good. Um, our our house, our house came. Was it about here? Yeah, our house was here, and then we had the two oil there. And there was the other oil. Um, our runway went along here. And all this here was excavated out. That's mental. I can't believe that. We excavated all this out. That's right. I remember doing all this. All that was excavated out. And it, yeah, all that, including there. And up to, we were plan yeah, it was up to about here. And, oh yes, our old um, base was on top of this. That's right. I remember that. Our base was up here, and then we had um, a set of stairs going down. That's where the stairs you see in the other one, they went down, right down to bottom level. And we regretted building it up there because we had so much to dig. Like, if we had started somewhere down there and done it down, it would have been a lot better. But Evan sort of, Evan sort of fell apart in a nice sort of way. But that is so weird. And an artificial island, yeah, it was, that all came out to here. It's all flat. That is mental. I can't get over that. That's so much has changed from starting off. And I just remembered as well. I have zipped files of whenever we started. So I've you know like every time we turned it off, I used to back up the server. So we could probably get you know like a time lapse. Yeah, I'm just thinking we could do we could do a time lapse, but not to know like in the way of no showing everything getting built. But what I could do is I think I have something like twenty something saves, 
So like all I have to do is go to a coordinate and look at a certain direction and then overlay the pictures on top of each other like a slideshow showing you know, like how much has changed to get to the point it was. But that'll be something I'll do at another time but that is... I can't get over just how much that has changed. Yeah. That's um that's really weird. But let's um save and quit. Because the world we play on is um it was called Maxwell Wedges, I forgot that. <laughs> anyway, that's from Ireland we get that. Uh if anybody doesn't know, um Maxall is like a fill in station or in America you would call them a, a garage. Uh, where you fuel up and it also has like a deli or you get stuff to eat and they do the nicest wedges and that's why we kind of get created as that as a bit of a meme that Maxwell wedges and I think the server we had with a few friends well was called Maxwell wedges we have a dis whole discord and all um, dedicated to this but um, that's our test world that's our s totally thought I had test too but that's our modded survival this is it here uh, cheats are enabled, not because I've cheated, there's never been any cheating on it, it's just um, uh, there was going to be a, sta a stage where I was going to put a command block in and have it, you know, um, you know, like keep the weather, you know, clear and all that there so it didn't have rain, but I thought that's a bit stupid, so I just left it the way it was and didn't change it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the world's there, so modern survival. Just wait for this here to load. So, um, this is kind of like a sneak peek, uh, because whenever I'm showing you this, um, there has been another six or seven episodes recorded. So you're looking, you're probably looking at this and having no idea what's going on. But this is a sneak peek for anybody that's watching. Um, this is what has happened so far. It's a bit of a spoiler, but um, yeah, quite a lot has um happened since. We've gone off, but I'll go I'll jump off that and uh, and record another episode after this here session. But yeah, uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show was that, you no, know, that whole setup. Um, mainly the um, the refinery. I just want to show you is just how compact that was and how everything sort of worked together. Um, but I don't think we'll do anything as complex as that because the thing with the issue with that was. It easily stalled because it used the exact is because it used its own fuel to keep things cool and keep things hot. If you ran out of it, it stalled and you had to put lava into it to pump things, you know, to start kickstart it again. And it became a nightmare. I just remember, you know, like fuel spilling all over the floor, you know, like uh, you no know, the shards all over the place, trying to get the pipes cleared and it was complete hell so it was whenever it stalled and it, it used to happen very easily um so if you take if you took you no know, like if you let accidentally with a bucket you wouldn't you weren't able to put it back in and then you're just waiting for inevitable whenever it ran out of something uh or if it filled up too much of something and you had to start taking buckets and stuff out and put lava in to kickstart it again and oh it was a nightmare uh but it was great when it was working it really was but yeah, that's it for this here. This is nothing to do with the modest survival. You did get a bit of a sneak peek on what happens in the future episodes. Uh, I can't remember which episode I'm only after recording. Maybe it was... I think it was something to do with um, creating the sorting chest or something like that there. But um, yeah, it's, that's all pretty much it. But this here episode will be going up today. So when you, whenever the upload date you see... Uh, on this here's whenever I record this here so you can kind of take a guess know just how much episodes were recorded beforehand but yeah uh, that's pretty much it so I'm gonna leave it there thanks very much for watching see you in the next one I would like to throw out a huge thank you to our donators you helped make these videos possible